It's the mid-month budget update. So, um, mid-month. Tomorrow's tax day, y'all. This budget was crappy. It's been crappy all month, but let me tell you a little bit about how crappy it actually was. Hey guys, I am finally back in the office. I can't say Mauricio has finished his homework cause he hasn't, but he has started taking off one day in the middle of the week so he can do homework in peace and quiet cause apparently it's easier to him to do homework in quiet than when Melina and I keep bugging him. I don't know, it seems weird to me. <laughs> so tomorrow's tax day and we did budget in as I discussed in my April budget video, which I'll put in the eye in the sky. We owe $2,400 in taxes this year, which is way better than what we owed last year, but it was not planned and it does make it difficult with the way that we're doing our budgeting right now, but we did come up with the money if you haven't seen my tax video, I'm also gonna put that in the eye in the sky and I'll put it, a link for both of those videos down in the description box. And you can see it it's $2,400 and I explain how we dealt with it. Basically, we were going to be $600 out of pocket every month um, and I was worried that it was gonna be cyclical. So the biggest and most exciting news, as you all know, I recently got a promotion, but I actually got two bonuses at work. One was a cash bonus and one was a step increase. And they were over the last two years, but if you know anything about the government, sometimes their paperwork is kind of slow. So they both happened to kick in right after we had this, uh, right after we had this tax debacle. So that, it, it changed everything about how we were gonna pay for the taxes. And it was like, I kind of want to call it divine intervention. <laughs> Very odd that I would have two bonuses kick in and the same paycheck that we have to write a $2,400 check for taxes. Yeah, we were super lucky, super lucky and definitely divine intervention. So um, that was just a absolute blessing in our lives. So I am so happy about that. Um, outside of the tax debacle, Nothing in our budget has changed. I've, I've noticed that as I'm doing these mid-month budget updates, really in the first half of the month, we seem to be really, really good. We're not overspending. We did have one overspending thing in the first half of the month that was super annoying and it involved Smoothie King. And if you haven't seen my March video, the end of the month March video, I highly recommend you check that out because I do make several references to Smoothie King and their gold filled smoothies apparently because they cost $8, so they clearly have gold in them. And Smoothie King reared its ugly head again in April. And um, one of the things that I did to counteract the Smoothie King debacle, because it's always a debacle, uh, was I started making Mauricio's lunch the night before because Mauricio actually leaves for work before I do and in the morning I'm editing and I don't have time to make it in the morning. So I've been making his lunch and my lunch the night before and that has been working out so well. He doesn't feel compelled to buy food, doesn't feel compelled to spend his blow money on something because he's hungry. So I will continue doing that. It's kind of inconvenient because I don't have a lot of free time in the evenings. So frequently at like 10.30 at night, I'm making his lunch and my lunch, but it is well worth the 15 minutes it takes. For right now, it's mostly just sandwiches that I'm making for him. Myself, I usually make something like, I actually eat my breakfast and lunch at work. So I usually have these, I have these adorable little containers for yogurt and fruit or cereal, I think they're actually made for cereal, but I use them for yogurt and fruit, and the bottom is chilled, and the top is just like a bowl. Well, hold on a second, I'll just show them to you. These are the containers, and the bottom screws off, and it's, you can see it's got that frozen gel. I don't freeze it, you can put the bottom in the freezer and freeze it if it's gonna be out for a long period of time, but I don't freeze it, I just put it in the refrigerator, with whatever food I'm gonna use, be it cereal. I almost always use this for yogurt because I eat yogurt for breakfast every morning. So I put my yogurt in there and then screw that on. And then the top is just a bowl. 
with a lid and then I put my fruit. I, I usually eat my yogurt with lots of blueberries and a few little pecans. And so then when I get to work, because I like my pecans crunchy, I don't wanna mix them and have it sit overnight. So when I get to work, I scoop out the yogurt and I put it in there and then I mix it with a couple of drops of stevia and it works out perfectly. So I put that in for my breakfast for lunch, uh, my breakfast for lunch. I put that in for my breakfast and then I usually make my lunch. I'm really into Vietnamese cold spring rolls right now. So I make those and it's basically a rice wrapper with a bunch of vegetables. And sometimes I put chicken, sometimes I put tofu, sometimes I put shrimp, and then I make a peanut dipping sauce and that's my lunch. And sometimes I'll take, you know, some pretzels or something else for, for a snack or a piece of fruit or something. But so I make my lunch, Mauricio's lunch, and it works out perfectly. And that has really, really helped us save. Well, it hasn't helped me because I've always made my lunch. I always made my lunch in the morning for myself. It was Mauricio that was having a problem because I was... I had previously been relying on him to make his lunch, but he didn't, he just didn't. And so I realized that if I wanted to have him not be spending money because he was hungry, I was gonna have to do something. So I'm doing that and it is working out great. He has, he has not used the debit card for food at all. He did, however, I could have killed him for this. He does love his Smoothie King and he does get money every month to buy whatever he wants. So, you know, I said, as long as you pay cash for it, you can go to Smoothie King. And if you get the smaller smoothies, not like the mammoth, like this big smoothie, if you get the smaller smoothies, you could probably get a smoothie every day with your blow money for while you're out working. Just get a smaller one and it'll, it's equally as filling and delicious and whatever. Me personally, I don't think Smoothie King is that delicious, but... Seriously, am I spending this much time talking about Smoothie King? Anyway, what ended up happening? The only, we've had two expenses that were unplanned for so far. One of them was costly. One of them was annoying. And the Smoothie King is the first one. We went to church and there is a Smoothie King right near our church. And Mauricio said, Melina, do you want a smoothie? Don't make me be the evil mom. So of course he knows that I'm not going to be the evil mom because Melina's all excited about getting a smoothie now. I did glare at him a lot though, and he knew it. He's so manipulative. So we went after church, but I didn't get anything. Melina got a you know a little kid smoothie, and then Mauricio got his normal gold filled smoothie. The other expense that we've had come up so far, and this one it smacks me every single time, is school pictures. Melina's school pictures were in March, and I forgot to write it down and school pictures came out at the beginning of this month and I had to pick out which pictures I want. Now, I know several of you ha will mention this and it is legitimately something that you could do. Um, several people do mention that you can just take pictures of the pictures that the school sends back and I gotta tell you, I'm not okay with that. Um, that's kind of not the way I operate. So I do buy her school pictures. I buy one sheet of each pose if I like the pose. And so that cost $59. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna insert those pictures right now cause they are super cute. I went ahead and I ordered them. And I mean, I'm super happy with the way they turned out and they're adorable and I'm glad I will get them. I make a digital photo album at the end of every school year with all her pictures and all her schoolwork. And I'm actually, this summer, I will upload a video on that, on how I do it, because it's super easy and I think everybody should do it because one, it eliminates keeping all of that paper, that schoolwork paper. And two, it really is a great way for Melina to remember that school year. Um, so I will make a video on that this year. Those pictures obviously will go in that, that photo album. So school pictures, every time, every time, they come up twice a year and every time I forget them. Thus far this month, those are the only two things. Now, those two things together are about 70% of my cushion category. So hopefully for the rest of the month, there will be nothing else that is coming up because if there is, we're in trouble because we don't have a lot of extra money to play with. I'm super pleased at um, how this month is going. I'm really, really, really happy with the way that we dealt with our tax situation. And while it was stressful trying to come up with a solution, um, this, 
God works in mysterious ways. That's all I can say. Basically, the way I feel about that is I feel like when I make the right choice, something better always happens for us. And those bonuses came at the exact time that we needed them so that we didn't have to sacrifice some of our plans. So I'm, I'm super pleased with um, the way this month is going, in spite of the fact that I owed the government $2,400. So what am I here to talk to you about today? Oh, mid-month budget. Can you hear Melina singing Old MacDonald in the background? That's pretty cute. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a bar. We watched Moana last night. Oh my goodness. We have Friday night movie night at my house every night every Friday night and Melina looks so forward to it and the adults don't always look forward to it because we you know it's a cartoon movie or a princess movie or something but my parents both and Mauricio when he's he's not doing schoolwork will all come down and sit and watch the movie and um, Moana was really good like I totally enjoyed it I did not think I would you can't say see ya did you hear that Melina's like I want to say see ya Wait, come here. Come here. Okay. See ya! Give me thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs okay, up! Okay, this is not thumbs up. This is thumbs down. We want them to give a thumbs up, not a thumbs down. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Make sure you click on um, my big laughing face and I'll put up two videos for you to watch so you can keep on watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!